Welcome back, guys. So we are still on our color psychology in Adobe Photoshop CC Plus, right? So one other way we, by which you can generate more color in Adobe Photoshop is to get it from nature. What do I mean by nature is, is, is the same thing in our class. If you have a logo, you can obtain color from a JPEG logo. If you have an, uh, let's say for instance, you have some other design, you can obtain color from it. So how do we do that? All you have to do is to go to file. Then you look for place embedded. So from this point here, we can look for where we can get an image. So I think this is, okay, this is JPEG file. So I will import this flower. So I will select it. Then I'll click on place. So we can resize the object by press that shift key, alternative key on our keyboard and drag in. Then you can click on this check mark here. All right, guys, so let me drag this for one side. Now, one other way by which you can work with your layer, you notice that by the time I import this picture here, everything is over the all our four shapes how do you take it if you want to take it back to the background shape all you have to do is to come to your layer panel here then you can drag from the top down below of whatever you want to have the image so i want to have it at the back of at the background of everything very good. Now we have it at the background, so we can drag it and bring it out like this. Okay, so let's see how we obtain color from the nature. First, let's start from this shape here. So we come back to our layer panel, just like how we did in the last class. We double click on the layer thumbnail. So we double click on the layer thumbnail. This is going to pump up. This is simply means you when 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 your mouse turns to something like this, it simply means that you want to take an action by which you want to pick a color. Now I will start from this dark of pink here. You see, it will be automatically update. Then I'll come here and click on OK. Now let's move to another one. I will click on this second shape here. Then we'll go back to our layer panel, do the same, perform the same action. We double click on the layer thumbnail. Now I will select from this. Then I'll click on OK. To the third one. Then I will select from this. I'll click on OK. Then the fourth one here.
then you can pick on this then i'll click on ok so all this color now we can make use of all this color to make a new design this is how you obtain color from nature you can as well obtain color from the logo let's say for instance a company give you a logo design in jpeg file to make a design and they want you to make sure that you walk around with their color with their brand color this is the same thing you are going to apply right so having know all this so let's see how we can walk around with gradients in uh, adobe photoshop so all you have to do to uh, to work with gradients is very simple thing you can make use of any shape you can make use of text to apply gradients so let's start from shape so we can still make make use of this then all you have to do is to come to the layer panel here right click on the active layer you want to make use so something like this is going to pump up go to your blending options so having select your blending option a dialog box like this is going to pump up from your screen just like what you are seeing on my screen here now we need to walk around with our gradient color all you have to do is to look for gradient overlay when you double click on the gradient overlay it's going to pump up like this now you can see that the color change this is my default color right but in this case now we need to combine when you are talking about gradient gradient simply means movement of one color to another or combination of three to four color on a single layer that is the meaning of gradient It's different from using a single color in, in photoshop all right so now from what you are seeing here we have two type of color we have light blue and dark blue so this is what we call gradient then we have gradient style under the gradient style let's see let me play around with the gradient here now first thing you do is to click on gradient palette this is going to pump so so when this thing pumps up, you see a lot of gradient default in Photoshop and the one you can install on your Photoshop. So some of these gradients here are my custom gradients. So I will teach you guys how you can do that. Why this one are just a Photoshop gradient, right? Now, so if you click on any one of these gradients, it's going to update so you can see on the screen. So everything will update. Each time you click on any gradient, it's going to update automatically. So now let me go back to the first one. Now, this is gradient slider. Under this gradient slider, you can add as many as possible gradients in this slider, right? So if you are to change the gradient color, so all you have to do is to double click the slider thumbnail. When you click double click on the slider thumbnail, I need to you can play around with this color here if you want to change so each time you move around your color slider it's going to update in your shape style or text in photoshop but in this case now i need to pick my color from some of this shape here all you have to do is to move your color slider to the particular color you need so i need this one so you can see it has been updated then I'll click on OK. I will move to the second slider. So if you don't double click, this is going to happen here. Then you can double click on the color here. The same thing, everything will pump up. Then I'll select this. Then I'll click on OK. Now we have the these two color combined on a single layer. So we can play around with the slider. We can increase the darkness. can see it's moving so if you touch this top here this is main opacity so if you turn it down it's going to low the fashion and the figure of the darkness so if you turn it back you are having the same thing all right so if you are very much in love of this kind of gradient combination and you need it to save for future costume design all you have to do 
is to go back to your gradient box here then you click on new so when you click on new you see it's going to automatically add to your gradient color here so we have it as a costume then you click on ok so whenever you want to use it it has been automatically saving your adobe photoshop then you can click on ok everything is done right so to test the availability of our new costume gradients let's make use of text tools so we go to text tools and uh, we make a tie gradients Okay, so let me change the font style so that it's look more bold. So we change from light to black. All right, so we want to fill this our new text with uh, gradients. Control T to open the transform to shift and alternative key just to drag and expand the text so we make the layer active then we go to layer panel here we right click look for blending option So we can take our slider to anywhere. So gradient overlay. Now you can see it has been automatically in our, so you go back to your gradient slider. So you can select it here. It's already there. So you don't have any issue. You have the custom gradient save automatically so this is how you save a costume gradient right so you can click on ok if you satisfy with it then okay all right so let's see how some other gradient works in uh, adobe photoshop so we can come down below here and make a new layer so when you make a new layer this simply means that you want to draw an object or you want to type or you want to import something Right, so we go back to our shape tools. I will right click on the shape tools to bring out a variety of shapes. So, I will in this case now we make use of eclipse or circle. Then I will draw a perfect eclipse with under my control key down. So we can take this to the top. Now let's say we want to fill this with another gradient. All you have to do is to come to the layer panel here, right click, look for your blending option. So let me take this to this side, okay? So, gradient overlay. Now we have it on the default. So, we can click on our gradient pick color picker. So, when you click on the gradient color picker, now we want to play around with our a new set of gradients. So, we can take the slider back. Now, we want to add a new slider. So, all you have to do is to make sure that you see that you take this slider in out just to to make a new way so then you make sure that when your mouse turn to something like this this uh 
icon here then it simply means you want to add more color you just click once so it's going to add automatically you can see it here so you can double click on it again you can decide to change the color style or better still let's flip that one then i will double click on this now i will select my color from from the shape here i need this particular one here so you see how you pick color i will need this dark oh, sorry let me make use of uh, this slider here then i'll click on ok so we can increase the slider so we can increase this slider also so we can take this to the center so if you satisfy with the new gradient style the same process you can come on come on here and click on new it's going to save so you can see it on uh, in, in your photoshop gradient palette here then click on ok it has been automatically saved just like that then one other thing is in, in gradient is what we call gradient style so under the gradient style this is where you make use of a uh, different style whether you need a radial so if you select radial you see so this is radial you can take it you can drag the radial style can play around with it so if you don't want radial you can click on angle so you can as well click on reflected this is depends on what exactly you need to achieve so if you don't want all this type fall back to your linear so when you go back to linear there is one other thing we call scale this scale means how do you want your gradient to expand you can increase this can increase it so i leave the scale to be 100 percent so you can drag to adjust the color okay and i think this is look more fine then you can click on okay right so this is how you play around with the color in adobe photoshop and in color psychology is concerned then let's quickly take a look at how we understand the foreground color and background color right